Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. A few weeks ago, I did a video about Vert Manager not working properly. And in case you don't know, Vert Manager is the program I use for making my virtual machines. There was an update and it wasn't working properly. So I reversed to the older version and it was working. So I did a video on it. And then a viewer wrote in and said, you don't have to do that. Here's another workaround. So I tried the viewer's workaround and that worked. So I did a second video on it showing how I updated again to the current version and I followed that viewer's advice and it was working. But it was a temporary fix. And really, Vert Manager is just a GUI front end to Kimu. So Kimu is spelled Q-E-M-U and it's the software that I use to make my virtual machines. But I use Vert Manager on top of it because Vert Manager is the GUI front end. Anyways, so I re-updated my system and I followed that viewer's advice and it worked. And I made a, a second video about that. And I found out from a viewer and from reading on the Kimu site that in that most recent version, that was uh, around December 22nd, there was a bug in the virtual video. So let's take a look at it. So we're in Vert Manager now. And if you notice, I only have about, what, six virtual machines. And if you're watching my videos about a month ago, and I don't always take you to this page, I don't always show this page on the, uh, or the screen on video, but sometimes, the odd time I do, I used, I had virtual machines going down to here. I had Windows 10 virtual machine, a Windows 11 virtual machine, BSD, OpenBSD, I didn't have OpenBSD. I had FreeBSD, GhostBSD, Slackware. I had all, all kinds of virtual machines. And every once in a while, I delete my virtual machines just to clean up my computer. So at the end of the holidays, I cleaned up my computer and now I only have these virtual machines left. And I'm off topic, but I just wanted to explain that in case you're, the last time you watched a video, you saw all these virtual machines going down to here. So in Vert Manager, let's just open up Arch Linux, but I'm not going to log into it. So when you're logging into the computer, you just hit this play button and it will log into my virtual machine of Arch Linux. But if I hit the I and go down to vert video, this video virtual had a bug in it in the Kimu update from December 22nd. Now, if you were running Kimu and Vert Manager in Debian, it didn't affect you because Debian doesn't do updates. <laughs> I mean, most of the updates in Debian are security updates and kernel updates, but packages rarely get updated in Debian and Debian's always running on older packages. So if you're running Vert Manager in Debian, you didn't have our Debian based distribution, you didn't have this problem. So like I said, rather than um, rolling back to an older version of Vert Manager, which did work, I was able to go to the most current version of Vert Manager and go to here. It was the video virtual had a bug in Kimu. So if I changed it to box or box, I'm not sure how to pronounce it or QXL, my virtual machines worked on the most current version of Kimu. So I didn't have to roll back. So today, on January 7th, 2024, Kimu released an updated version of their packages and including a bug fix for virtual. So now I can log in to my virtual machines using virtual. Now, a viewer had uh, sent me a message saying that he was just going to wait for the new patch to come through that he didn't use the virtual machines that often it wasn't that important to him and instead of doing a, a workaround by uh, switching or downgrading to an older version or a workaround by staying on the current version and just switching the video from video virtual to botch or qxl he was just going to wait for the update so anyways the update happened today and 
it's fixed. The patch for video virtual came through and so I switched my Arch Linux back to virtual. I logged into it and it's working. Now, what's the advantage of using video virtual over Botch or QXL or even some of these other ones? What are the advantages and disadvantages? I don't have a clue. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, this is just to let you know that video virtual has been fixed. So if you're like that person, that viewer who commented that he wasn't going to do these temporary workarounds, he doesn't need to use his virtual machines that often, and he was just going to wait for the patch. If you're like that viewer who was just going to wait for the patch rather than doing a workaround, the patch is in. So update your Arch Linux system and your virtual machines should work properly. And so I am at video virtual and I'm going to log into log into my Arch Linux system. And it's now working. There we are. Let's put my username in, put my password. And there we are, it's working. Let's log in. And there we are, it's working. That's it. This was just a short video to let you know that Kimu updated their packages, which included a patch or a fix for a virtual video. And if you're waiting for that fix, it's come through. So update your Arch Linux system and your virtual machine should work properly. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mitch.